The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieve at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. All words. Yan po ang tawag natin sa mga tao na puro salita, kulang sa gawa. All words. Yan po ang tawag natin sa mga tao na magaling magsalita, pero hindi makita sa gawa. Kaya nga po siguro, pwede po ba nating tawagin si David na all words? Most likely hindi. Because he delivered. He was able to deliver what he promised to Saul. Ang tanong po dito, saan ang gagaling yung confidence ni David? Where is it coming from? Paano niya nakayang sabihin, despite of his youth, kay Saul, na hari niya, to take courage and not to lose heart? Because the Lord has delivered the Philistine to him. Saan ang gagaling iyon? Paano niya nasabi iyon? Mga kapatid, I came across with this, um, with this poem. And this is not a poem. Para pong, uh, it's like a, ang title po nung work na ito, Trust in God. Um, anonymous po yung author. At ganito po yung, ang content nito. I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve. I asked for courage and God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for patience and God placed me in situations where I was forced to wait. I asked for love and God gave me troubled people to help. I asked for favors, and God gave me opportunities. I asked for everything so that I could enjoy life. Instead, He gave me life so that I can enjoy everything. I received nothing I wanted. I received everything I needed. Somehow, kung tatanungin niyo pa ako kung saan nang gagaling yung confidence ni David, maaari makukuha natin po yun dun sa binasa ko. Because it is about finding strength in God when we are facing difficulties of life. It is about finding the wisdom of God when we have problems to solve. It is about finding courage when there are many things that we need to overcome. That is where we find confidence. Kaya nga siguro, despite of his youth, David was confident to tell Saul that he can overcome it because he knows that God is his strength. At mga kapatid, hindi madali magkaroon ng ganung pananampalataya. Hindi madali na magkaroon ng ganong confidence in God. We can only arrive at that confidence, at that faith, 
if we realize that in every trouble, in every difficulty, in every opportunity that we have, the Lord is always with us. Kapag kaya natin sabihin na kasama ang Diyos sa lahat ng laban ng buhay, na kaya natin sabihin na kasama ko ang Diyos sa lahat ng pagkakataon ng aking buhay, na kaya kong sabihin na kasama ko ang Diyos kapag ako ay nahihirapan. That is how we build that confidence in God. And David was able to show it to us because he experienced it. Naranasan niya yun. He undergo that, that far for him to be able to be courageous and confident in God. Siguro ganun mo rin po ang invitation sa atin. That is the same invitation that our Lord is giving to us. Sometimes, we need to have a better eye to see God, how God works in our life. Kailangan natin magkaroon na mas mabuting mata upang makita ang Diyos sa ating mga buhay. You know, sometimes, mga kapatid, the only reason that we are failing to see God at kapag na tayo na pangunahan ng pride, pride natin, when we become proud. You know, I think that is one of the reasons why soul lost courage. Eh. Kung bakit nawalan si soul ng capacity to trust God. He started to rely on his strength. He started to rely on his own wisdom. He started to rely on what he can have and on what He can do. Forgetting that everything that was given, that everything was given to Him. Nakalimutan niya yun. And somehow, yun po ang challenge sa atin. Yun ang ibinibigay sa atin na challenge ng Diyos. For us to see Him in everything that we have. Katulad po nung last part nung binasa ko, and I want to end it here. Ang sabi niya, I received nothing I wanted. I received everything I needed. And I think that very, yun ang pong pinaka best start, a good start for us in our confidence to God. Amen.